we are going to be trying to set a pencil puzzle, which I have never set before. I have never even solved a ring ring before, but we are going to try to set a ring ring today. And first of all, before I start subjecting myself to setting a ring ring puzzle, we should solve a ring ring puzzle. So Jovial suggested this ring ring puzzle. I'm gonna get tired of saying ring ring, I think. It says, fill the empty cells of the grid by drawing rectangles that consist of horizontal and vertical lines between cell centers. The sides of different rectangles may intersect, but not overlap. Rectangles can't touch otherwise. In particular, they can't touch on a corner. They have examples, which is much, much easier to understand. For example, in this case, there's, there's a line on a shaded cell, so Wait, what? Uh, you're definitely not allowed to have a line on top of a shaded cell, that's for sure. There is a branching line, so if this line were to stop here, it would branch, but everything needs to be a ring, hence the name Ring Ring. So there is a dead end line, so these lines need to finish. This says there is a non-rectangular loop, so all the loops have to be rings, i.e. rectangles. There is no line on the unshaded cells. Every cell has to be part of one of these rings, we are going to try to use what we have learned to solve Jovial's puzzle. I know that in a ring ring, you always have to take the corners like this. So we're gonna have to take all the corners like that. And this black dot creates two corners in these two cells. So this needs to do that and that. And we're just gonna do that all over the grid. Oh, this is a problem. Oh no, it's not a problem. This can't do this because that's a branching path. Remember, we're not allowed to branch. You couldn't do that. That would be against the rules of ring. These two little parts have to be separate. Otherwise, if you were to do something like this, that wouldn't be a rectangle, which means they need to extend further than that. But I know that this pink one has to go up because if it didn't go up, then it would be creating a non-rectangular shape. Squares are also rectangles, by the way. We can see that this blue one at the top is just gonna finish because it can't do anything else. It is just that, which creates a corner in this corner because we can't extend into this cell at all. What's gonna happen with this cell, this weird little gate here? Well, if this one doesn't come through here, then I don't think anything can happen with this cell. You couldn't have something like it this for example that would be that would be heresy this cyan one has to come all the way over here color changing is just <laughs> making me lose my mind but i really don't like when they're all the same colors so what takes this cell because if it's not pink then it needs to go horizontal right but there's no there's no cell that it can reach horizontally because it can't be part of green oh now they're both green oh my word now this one has to come up for the same reason that red had to come up. Ah, this one. If this comes up here, it's never forming a rectangle and it can't go this way, obviously, because there's a block, so it has to go down. What else is there in this magical land? This cell right here at the top, uh, row one, column four, it can't be part of green and it has to be part of something that goes through it. So green closes because green can't extend. So it needs to go down. This one definitely needs to extend. Now what takes this cell? And it's neither of those things, so it has to do exactly that. So this has to extend. This has to extend. These also have to extend. Now what's taking this cell? It, it's a corner, isn't it? So it has to do that. At least one of these comes into this column. I really want to stop this one from coming down because then it has to come here and it can't come down there, so it has to join with that one. But I don't think that's forced because for example, this could do that. This could just close there, and then you could do that. I don't... Oh, what about this cell? Oh, this is interesting, actually. Actually, wait, no, we should focus on this. Because what we were just doing implied that this would have to go that way if these extended, but even if these don't extend, this can't come down and go that way because then it would intersect with them. So this has to continue this way at least until here. Oh crap, I think I broke it. Because what can take this cell? Nothing. Nothing can take that cell. Because this is now a corner which will join with this thing. Oh no, what have I done? I 
broke it. Did I underestimate this possibility? I don't see how that could work. This is the problem we were having was this cell, right? If this joins here, what takes this cell? Because obviously this is going to be a corner, right? But now this is just broken. Unless maybe that? Could this come through here? Oh, wait. Oh, yes. Yes, this could work. Yes, this, this works. Yes, yes, this works. Now, it doesn't have to turn there. This couldn't continue, so this has to finish like that. This one can't go this way, so it has to come down. It has to come down at least as much as this one. Now, this has to... Oh, no, wait. It doesn't have to continue. It could close like that. If it doesn't and it continues over here, it's going to join this pink one. So it actually has to do that. So this is now a corner. Now this is a corner, isn't it? And this is a corner? Yes, this this is definitely forced. It seems very unlikely that this comes down like this because then this one would have to join with this and that would not be rectangle. So regardless of what the heck this does, this always joins with that. This is now a corner. So that happens. This can't go this way now, so it has to come down one more. Now what's going to take this cell? This cell is a corner, right? Because this can't come that way. But now this has to continue and it has to continue again. And it can't continue too far because then it would be equal to green and it can't be equal to green because then it would do this and that's not allowed. In fact, I think this one has to close exactly like that. Oh, that breaks. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. This is totally green. This can't go this way anymore, so it has to go down. It's very nice that these are all green. So then this has to close like that. This has to close like that, and this has to close like that. I think this was not a good ring ring to start with, but that was really cool. That was a really good puzzle. Okay, so ring ring. There's an edit mode and an answer mode, so as we sort of put clues in here, we're going to try and solve the puzzle. Uh, we're just going to go with the default 8x8. I liked the whole one cell gap thing that was going on in Jovi's puzzle. We couldn't do that. That's not allowed. Because that means that if we look at this, that would be a corner and that would have to close. But now this, this cell is stuck. What's like barely, barely different than that? What about that? So that creates a corner here, a corner here. And that's broken, isn't it? Yeah, that's broken because you can't take this cell in any way. Although the corner here and the corner here had nothing to do with these two. Maybe just this. That's a corner. That's a corner. This has to be taken, so it has to come through here. This is a corner, but it needs to take that cell, so this needs to continue. This can't continue, otherwise it would join that one, so it has to come down. Maybe we do the exact same thing on the bottom. I just want to see, maybe maybe that does something interesting, actually. Or maybe, ooh, it's 8x8, eight eight, so we could actually do that thing on the other side. So that's all the same as up there. See, I just have no intuition on how to set this, but this is really how you get some intuition, is just by playing around with it. Now, the other way you can get a little bit of intuition about how to set something like Ring Ring or whatever is getting advice from people. And I have solicited my friend Jovial to give me some pointers. She's put them in spoilers, so I haven't read them yet. I'll look at the first spoiler here. It says, forcing overlaps is frequently very pow powerful. Start setting in corners and on the edges. Look at me, look at me, look at me. I am already doing that. Ooh. Let's look at number two here. She says, sometimes at the very, very end, you will no longer have any control. Okay. Find a solution and place the last few squares that are not used. Working backwards is okay for the last, like, two or three clues. Okay, interesting. I didn't even realize, but this blue has to continue because it can't just go that way. That's not going to work. So this has to go up. I wonder about that, because that will force this out, will force this out. This obviously can't come down, so it'll have to come over here. Now, one of these is going to come down, and the other one is going to come down in the other column. Yeah, I think I'm really running out of space here. Yeah, what if we added a row or two in the middle here? So let's go new board, eight columns like we had before, but we're going to go for two more rows. And let's, let's try out this one. 
But actually, wait, what is gonna take this cell, this one right here in the corner? It has to be this one. That could be a black cell at the end, but I kind of like the idea that this has to take that, so it has to come over here. I kind of like that. If these two were separate, oh, that would work. Oh, would it work though? Because what's gonna take this cell then? Oh, these could take that cell, right? Oh, but then, what are you gonna do with these cells? Oh no, that doesn't work at all. What is taking this cell as well? Hmm, so let's go back here. Let's think about this cell. If we don't add any more black clues, what is taking this cell? If this green one came up and took that one, this would obviously have to continue. Now what's taking this cell? That would have to be this one. What if this purple one came up and took that one instead? That is a possibility, of course. Although if it comes up and takes that one, I'm wondering what this one would either have to be taken by green or you'd have to add a new thing in. And I don't know if we have room for another thing, but then we're really run I mean, if we connect this, why are they all turning green? <laughs> We definitely can't bring this up to here. Since this one can't come up to here, this cell is gonna have a big problem. So that cell will have to be a new thing. And that can't join this, so it would have to be its own thing. So that would have to close well. This would have to take that cell. This would just have to close, and then that could close. And that, that works, right? We didn't actually leave any empty cells, so it's definitely not forced. I mean, let's just try something because it's not very interesting to just try to solve it from here. That's interesting because that puts a lot of pressure on these two. And now this one has to extend. And now you can ask what's going to take this cell. What well, has to be something else. And that thing can't go this way, so it has to do that. And now this one can't. Oh, it could come down if it took that. Ah, but if it. If this comes down, that's broken for sure, so this has to close. This now can't come over, so it actually does have to close exactly like that. Nothing can take this cell. So if this is the solution we want to force, we'll actually have to put that in, which I don't really love. This one as well is a problem. Yeah, I don't really like that. Let's go back here. So let's think about the other side. Wait. No, stop. This is future me. So we ended up setting the puzzle that you see on the left here. And this puzzle solves in a fairly trivial way. If we just sort of do our basic ring ring, and then this will have to finish like that. Everything is, is very symmetric in the bottom. And this one will have to close like that, which means this has to extend, this has to close, and this has to close and it's complete without really even thinking about it, which is not great. I spent a really long time, I was getting a uniqueness problem with this shape versus this shape, and I couldn't disambiguate those two things. And I, I think that contributed almost an hour of time to the video, and I don't really feel like going through that and editing it. So I'm not going to do that. In fact, I am going to amend my puzzle. We're gonna use this, this black dot, but you might notice that there's another row in the middle here. This is now a corner, so we have to do that. And we can't continue this this way, so we have to go down. This has to continue as well. What I decided was I was gonna just do a symmetric uh, black dot down here because we've been using symmetry this whole time, so why not? And because of this black dot, this has to be a corner as well, which closes these. Now, if we did extend this further, then we would have to do something like that, which is not going to work. So we have to close both of these, and this cannot go across like that, and it can't go down here, so it has to close just like that. Of course, these are the same color, they're all green. Let's do what Jovi said and just add these two black cells in and let's see how that solves. You know, sometimes you get a little bit tunnel visioned when you're setting a puzzle and well, that didn't work. Let's just try something else and then you forget that you wanted to uh, do something like that later on. This grid was very, very difficult to resolve. So I'm glad that you won't have to see that. I will actually upload that for my patrons. Come out all the way, all the way, all the way out here at least. The same thing at the bottom here. These have to come out to here at least. 
this has to come up to here at least, this has to continue, so it has to actually join with its friend at the top, and then we have a corner here, we have a corner here, this has to extend, and then this has to extend, so it joins its friend, which closes the loop, and these loops have to close as well, and I think that's a much nicer and more elegant path than the other ring ring and it just sort of shows that if, if you're not attached to something like the grid size then you can get a lot more flexible with how you want to set these things up. I think ring ring in particular what I've learned from setting this is that if you're getting too much crowding it might just be a good idea to add another row or another column because that will give you a little bit more freedom and it could free up just enough space so that the thing is still constrained but in slightly less of a way, and then you can sort of finagle it into, into the way that you want it to go. Now, one thing you can do with a ring ring puzzle like this is you can take this URL and we can go to this page, which is a pencil puzzle solver, and the link is there on the screen. And you can put in the link to whatever puzzle you've made, and then you press execution, and it will tell you whether or not it's a unique solution. I don't know what these difficulties mean, and Jovial said they're sort of wrong. So <laughs> it shows you an estimated difficulty based on brute force. Anyways, I had a lot of fun setting Ring Ring. I wanna thank Jovio for helping me. A video of me failing to make a unique Ring Ring will be on up for patrons. Uh, so you can you can watch that if you're a patron. This has been an adventure. I'm glad you're all on it with me of setting my first ring ring. Didn't quite go as I wanted it to go, but it it went. It went and it went around and around and around until, you know, we dropped, you know, <laughs> ring around the rosy.